Today we're going to add Serverbus to our Node application to add authorization for our Articles API to ensure the right users can create, read, and update delete articles. Here we have a very simple Express app. It has handlers for reading, updating, deleting articles, and currently anyone that, that can hit the endpoint can take the action, which is not what we want. We want to actually authorize that based on the business logic in our policies. To start with, we're going to create a Serverbus folder, and in there we're going to define our policies. First up is we have our resource policy. So this is the business logic encoded in simple, easy to read YAML that defines the actions that are allowed to be taken on an article resource and the conditions required to do them. So here we have a read and create actions, uh, which you're allowed to do if you're a, a principal that has the role of an admin or a user. We have the update and delete actions, which you're allowed to do to all articles if you're an admin. And we also have the update and delete uh, actions if you are a user role. And we have a condition here which says you're allowed to update and delete only if you are the owner of the resource. So the logic here says that the resource owner attribute must equal to the request principal ID, aka the user ID of the user making the request. We also have to create a configuration file that tells the system where uh, Serverbus needs to look for the policies and which port to listen on. With those set, we can go and actually launch our Serverbus PDP. And in this case, we're going to use our Docker container. Here, we just launch it, pointing at the configuration file and the policies, and it will go and launch the uh, Serverbus PDP. With that done, we now need to add Serverbus to our application. So the first thing we need to do is install the Serverbus NPM package using a very simple NPM install Serverbus. Let's go and grab the latest version of Serverbus. Now we need to bring it into our application and require it and set it up. So we require the Serverbus client. Uh, we create a new instance of the client and we point it to the endpoint of the Serverbus PDP that we're running. Um, so we set in the configuration, it's running on 3592. That's now in place. So now if we go and look into our handler, we now need to add, actually add the authorization checks. And for this example, we're going to just add it to the patch call to update an article. So inside the handler, we need to send Serverbus information about the article and who's trying to do it and what action is going to be taken. And it's a very simple serverbus.check call. And we pass in the principal information, so the user ID, the roles they have, and the other attributes about the user. We tell Serverbus which resource the principal is trying to take an action upon. So we're telling it it's an article resource and we're passing in the article information so that it can compute the policy changes. And we are passing in which actions we want to be able to take. And we can pass in multiple actions in one case if we wanted to. But for this case, we're just looking for the update action. That will go off and Serverbus will come back with an either, either an allow or deny for that uh, resource. And so now we need to actually go and do the policy check. So we're going to replace the call with a very simple authorization check. So we're going to say in the permissions, if the user is authorized to update the article ID, um, if they're not authorized, throw an error. If they're authorized, then go ahead and call the update article in our article system and then return a status back to the browser. And as simple as that, we've added Serverbus into our node-based application using policies defined as configuration in our, in our YAML files. And our application is now authorizing access to the update command. You can find out more about this and other information about Serverbus on serverbus.dev, as well as all the documentation and sample codes available on our GitHub. Thanks.